Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, the energy demand to keep your house a little warmer tonight, a little higher. And, of course, this is the time of year to make sure everything is in good working order. The furnace, the burner, the, the wood stove, the pellet stove, things like that. Smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors as well. I want you to be warm, but safe, too. Take a look outside. It is cold everywhere. Look at Newport. Skies are clear. Very dry air in place. And uh, temperatures already at or below freezing. And they'll continue to free fall overnight. So we are setting up for one of the uh, the coldest nights of the autumn season. I, I saw a, a tweet from meteorologist Pete Mangione stating that so far the coldest uh, night we've had this autumn season back on Halloween when it was 24 degrees. It should be colder than that by early tomorrow morning. High temps today is expected only mid and upper 30s, including 36 in Providence. It's down in the upper 20s right now. Oaken Beach and Warwick checking in at 30 right now and a little further to the north Cumberland already well below freezing at 27. Look at the dew point and we talk about the dew point a lot in the summer uh, but in the winter time you know that is a real low number so it just indicates that the atmosphere is extremely dry. Uh, winter feel next roughly 12 to 18 hours without the snow. There's really no big storms on the horizon. Short-lived cold snap by actually by tomorrow evening it's not as cold and by Friday and Saturday, temperatures should moderate nicely. Skies are clear across really most of New England. A few snow showers in upstate New York, but fairly quiet. Those busy northwest winds uh, diminishing. High pressure fair weather system in control will keep things quiet on the back side of the high. You see across the central plains, this little wedge of mild air, and that's headed our way. You'll really notice it by Friday afternoon and again on Saturday. We'll bring it in real close and we'll walk you through the forecast, which is fairly quiet. The winds will be diminishing. Finishing. Now, by 6 in the morning, these numbers actually, I think, are a little too high. This is a computer projection, uh, 6 in the morning. I just think by then we should be more like 20, 21 degrees. So you get the idea. It's frigid early. Sunshine gets to work. and We do recover to the mid-40s, so it's kind of a chilly day with sunshine. Watch the wind speed start to tick up, though, later in the day. A gusty south-southwest sustained at 20, gust to 25. The temperature actually goes up tomorrow night. So look at 6 o'clock in the evening, 42. You would think, you know, later at night it drops off. No, it goes up close to 50. And these gusty southwest winds really elevate the temperature tomorrow night. So it's not nearly as cold tomorrow night. Tomorrow morning, we're down as cold as 18 to 22 early at 6 a.m., 11 a.m., 39 sunshine. The wind starts to pick up during the mid to late afternoon hours. Temperatures reaching the mid 40s, kind of breezy and windy by 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. Uh, bay forecasts uh, potential for a small craft advisory by the evening hours on a gusty southwest wind at 15 to 20. Seven day forecast. Friday afternoon, not nearly as chilly. Look at the temperatures, not bad. Upper 50s to around 60. Same deal for Saturday, mild in the upper 50s. Extra clouds and a smidge cooler on Sunday with a high temperature near 50. But Mike and Shen on the weekend staying dry. And this cold snap doesn't last very long, about 18 to 24 hours, and then getting temperatures up a little bit. All right, Tony, thanks. Coming up next in sports.